morning children today we are continuing the exercise 7.4 lesson we learned about the integrals the integral dx by x square minus a square is equal to 1 by 2a into log x minus a by x plus a plus c and integral dx by a square minus a square is equal to 1 by 2a into log absolute value of a plus x by a minus x plus c and third integral dx by x square plus a square is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c and fourth integral dx by square root of x square minus a square is equal to log absolute value of x plus square root of x square minus a square plus c and integral dx by square root of a square minus x square is equal to sin inverse x by a plus c and sixth integral dx by x square plus a square is equal to log absolute value of x plus square root of x square plus a square plus c these are the six results using this result we are going to solve problems first one integral dx by x square minus 16 first we convert this x square minus 16 in the form this is x square minus a square that is equal to integral dx by x square minus 16 is 4 square now this is in the form first of all integral dx by x square minus a square answer 1 by 2a into log x minus a by x plus a in place of x x in place of a here 4 so 1 by 2a this is of the first form 1 by 2a 2 into what is a a is 4 into log absolute value of x minus a x minus 4 by x plus 4 plus c is equal to 1 by 8 into log absolute value of x minus 4 by x plus 4 plus c we convert the given question in these any of these forms then using that formula so our answer is 1 by 8 into log absolute value of x minus 4 by x plus 4 plus c second question number 2 to integral dx by square root of 2x minus x square 2x minus x square here we use the method of completing square here our question is 2x minus x square the method of completing square means First, we find the coefficient of x. Which is the coefficient of x? Coefficient of x is 2. What is 2 by 2? 2 by 2 is 1. Now, we put a plus 1 and minus 1 here. First, we find the coefficient of x. Coefficient of x divided by 2 is equal to coefficient of x is 2. 2 by 2, 1. We add 1 and subtract 1. Now this is 2x. Our x square term is minus x square. We have to write a perfect square. The x square term is positive. For that in this um, square root. First we write the positive number. Then 1 minus of x square. Then this is 2x minus 2x. Minus into minus plus 2x. Then minus 1 is plus 1. So, 2x minus x square plus 1 minus 1. Take the positive 1 first. Then, take negative sign outside and write the other 3 um, functions. Uh, first one is x square and next one is 2x. 2x is positive but negative take outside. Inside the bracket, this 2x is ne also negative. Then, this minus 1. Take minus outside. So, here plus. So, this can be written as square root of 1 minus, what is this, x minus 1 whole square is equal to 
square root of 1 minus put x minus 1 is equal to t square. 1 minus t square and t is equal to x minus 1. What is dt? dt is equal to dx. Now listen integral dx by this step. 1 minus these are the side work. Main step this 1 minus x minus 1 whole square. Square root. Square root of e equals. Now we put x minus 1 is equal to t and dt is equal to dx. Integral dt by 1 minus square root of 1 minus t square. 1 means 1 square minus t square. 1 square minus t square. We have the formula. Integral dx by a square minus x square is equal to sin inverse x by a plus c. Here, this 1 is 1 integral. What is integral? Square root of 1 by square root of 1 minus t square is equal to sin inverse sin inverse here dx by a square minus x square is sin inverse x by a here in place of a 1 and in place of x t a implies 1 x implies t so sin inverse t by 1 sin inverse t by 1 plus c is equal to sin inverse t by 1 sin inverse x by a in place of x here t and a here 1. So sin inverse t by 1 plus c and substitute the value sin inverse what is t? We take t is equal to x minus 1. So our answer is sin inverse x minus 1 plus c. Then third question, integral dx by x square minus 6x plus 13 is the question. Here also we use the method of completing square. In the first question, the expression is, the given expression is inside the square root, but here outside. Then, Write the expression x square minus 6x plus 13. Find coefficient of x by 2 square. It is the coefficient of x minus 6 by 2 square. Minus 6 by 2 minus 3. Minus 3 square is 9. So we add x square minus 6x plus 9. Minus 9 and also 113 is here. X square minus 6x. Then we write this plus 9 and minus 9 plus 13. We take these 3 together. We can write x minus 3 whole square. And minus 9 plus 3 is plus 4. Is equal to x minus 3 whole square plus 2 square. Equals. Now we put t is equal to x minus 3 and what is dt is equal to dx. Now write integral dx by this is x minus 3 whole square plus 2 square. Next step integral dx is equal to dt divided by x minus 3 t square plus 2 square. t square plus 2, uh, 2 square means a square plus x square. What is integral dx by integral dx by x square plus a square or a square plus x square is equal to integral dx by x square plus a square or a square plus x square is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. Then apply this. 1 by a. What is a here? In place of x. In place of a. 1 by a. 1 by 2. Tan inverse. 
what is x x here t by a means 2 plus c is equal to 1 by 2 into tan inverse what is the value of x t t is equal to x minus 3 by 2 plus c so our answer is 1 by 2 tan inverse x minus 3 by 2 plus c fourth question fourth integral dx by 3x squared plus 13x minus 10. Integral dx by 3x squared plus 13x minus 10. Like previous questions, we have to uh, we use the method of completing square. In previous questions, the coefficient of x square is 1. But in the previous all questions, uh, coefficient of x square is 1. Here the coefficient of x square is 3. So, we take integral 1 by 3 into, here 3 outside, we get x square plus 13 by 3x minus 10 dx. Integral dx by, or 1 dx, 1 into dx by, or now, write this, x square plus 13 by 3x minus 10. x square plus 13 by 3x minus 10. Now, coefficient of x is 13 by 3. Coefficient of x by 2 means 13 by 3 division 2 means into 1 by 2. It's square. So, Square of it is 13 by 6 whole square is equal to 169 by 36. We add this x square plus 13 by 3x then add 169 by 36 subtract 169 by 36 then here remaining minus not minus 10. 10 by 3, sorry, minus 10 by 3, minus 10 by 3. So, first 3 together takes x plus 13 by 6 whole square. Then, minus 1 by 69, minus 1 by 69 by 36, minus 10 by 3, take 36 LCM. My, that is minus 1 by 69. Then 36 by 3, 12. 12 into 10 minus 120 is equal to minus 289 divided by 36 is equal to 17 by 6 whole square. Here negative sign. So minus 17 by 6 whole square. Here First 3 together x plus 13 by 6 whole square minus 17 by 6 whole square is equal to integral 1 by 3 into x plus 13 by 6 whole square minus 17 by 6 whole square dx which is equal to 1 by 3 outside integral 1 by x plus 13 by 6 whole square minus 17 by 6 whole square. This is in the form. One by x square minus a square. One by x square minus a square. What is one by x square? One by x square minus a square. Integral one by x square minus a square is equal to 1 by 2a into log absolute value of x minus a by x plus a 
plus c. This is in the form 1 by 3 into 1 dx by x plus 13 by 6 whole square minus 17 by 6. 1 by 2 a into log x minus a. What is this is x and this is a. So our answer is 1 by 2 into what is a? 17 by 6 into log absolute value of this is next step put t is equal to t is equal to x plus 13 by 6 so dt is equal to dx then integral dt divided by t square minus 17 by 6 whole square is equal to 1 by 2 into a 17 by 6 into log absolute value of x minus a t minus a divided by t plus a plus c1 equals 1 by 3 into integral dt by 1 by 2 into 1 by 2a into 1 by 2 into 17 by 6 into log sorry integral ah, dt by log sorry 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 into 17 by 6 into log absolute value of t minus a by t plus a plus c. Here in place of a here 17 by 6. t minus 17 by 6 by t plus 17 by 6 plus c1. Here 2, 6 cancelled, 3, 3 cancelled. So 1 by 17 into log absolute value of what is t? t is equal to x plus 13 by 6. x plus 13 by 6 minus 17 by 6 divided by x plus 13 by 6 plus 17 by 6 plus c1 equals 1 by 17 into log Take LCM, numerator 6, 6x plus, wait, wait, for taking LCM, before taking LCM, we have to add these two fractions, x plus 6 upon 13 minus 7, minus 4 by 6, by x plus 13, 30 by 6, plus C1 equals 1 by 17 into log absolute value of take 6 LCM 6 upon 6 minus 4 by 6 upon x plus 30 plus C1 6 6 cancelled 1 by 17 into log absolute value of 6 minus 4 divided by x plus 30 Sorry, 6x plus 30 plus C1 equals 1 by 17 log. Then take 2 outside 3x minus 2. Divided by next one 6 outside x plus 5 plus c1 equals 1 by 17 log 2 2 cancelled 3x minus 2 3x minus 2 by 3 into x plus 5 plus c1 equals 1 by 17 into log absolute value of 3x minus 2 by x plus 5 plus 1 by 17 into log 
1 by 3. This is 3x by uh, minus 2 by x plus 5 plus 1 by uh, 17 into log 1 by 3 plus c1 is equal to 1 by 17 into log absolute value of 3x minus 2 by x plus 5 plus c where c is equal to 1 by 17 log 1 by 3 plus c1. So our answer is 1 by 17 log 3x minus 2 by x plus 5 plus c. 1 by 17 log 3x minus 2 by x plus 5 plus c where c is equal to c1 plus 1 by 17 log 1 by 3. Next question. Question number 5. dx by square root of 5x square minus 2x. Here square root of 5x square minus 2x. Coefficient of x minus 2. Minus 2 by minus 2. Coefficient of x by 2 whole square minus 2 by 2 whole square is equal to 1. We add 1, subtract 1. Sorry, here our x square term is, x square term contains 5. So we take 5 outside. Then x square minus 2 by 5 x, x. Now, coefficient of x term is x by 2 is minus 2 by 5 division 2 means into 1 by 2 whole square is equal to 2, 2 cancelled minus 1 by 5 is uh, 1 by 5 square is 1 by 25. We add 1 plus 1 by 25 and minus 1 by 25. We take these uh, 3 together, square root of 5 into x minus 1 by 5 whole square minus 1 by 25 is 1 by 5 whole square. Now we put x minus 1 by 5 is equal to t and dx is equal to dt. Listen, integral dx by a root of 5 into x minus 1 by 5 whole square minus 1 by 5 whole square is equal to integral dt divided by here root 5. So we take 1 by root 5 outside dt by this is t square minus 1 by 5 whole square. Now this is in the form square root of 1 by square root of a square minus x square. 1 by square root of a square minus x square. What is 1 by square root of a square minus x square is equal to log absolute value of x plus square root of a square minus x square. Here x square minus a square. This is t is x, x square minus a square. x plus square root of x square minus a square is the answer. So, 1 by root 5 into log in place of x here t plus square root of t square minus 1 by 5 whole square is equal to 1 by root 5 into log what is absolute what is t Absolute value of t is equal to x minus 5 plus square root of t square. x minus 5 the whole square minus 
1 by 5 the whole square is equal to equals 1 by root 5 into log absolute value of x minus 1 by 5 plus we simplify, simplify this square root uh, we get the given question if we simplify this x minus 1 uh, x minus 1 by 5 whole square minus 1 by 5 whole square we get the given question so x minus 1 by 5 plus this answer square root of 5 x square here c 5 x square minus 2 x plus c so our answer is 1 by root 5 into log x minus 1 by 5 plus square root of 5x square minus 2x plus c. Thank you.